Good day guys, welcome on board on our YouTube channel Next Star Hub. Um, welcome officially to the episode 4 of Real G's podcast and I'm your host Boniface Faith. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, I'd love you to do so now by clicking on the subscription button to do so right away. So actually I have here with me Miss Justine uh, Busola Adeyemi, uh, soon to be ex copa So she's actually going to be navigating uh, her experience as a youth cop member in a year. So Busola, I would love you to introduce yourself to our uh, dear viewers. Hello, everyone. My name is Adeyemi Busola. I soon to be an um, ex copa Okay, so I have made a lot of questions that I and my team has actually prepared for the solar. So I uh, hope we did all enjoy this video. So let's get started. So Busola, what motivated you to join the Youth Service Corp program? Yeah, what motivated me? It's a not like it's a natural thing after your your normal graduation, then you keep forward with your NYS program which is what you do after a normal thing okay. for a student after graduating so from So nothing motivated you? Yeah, nothing, to be, to be very honest, nothing motivated me to join for this. Yeah, job into the service without any motivation? Yeah, seriously, to be, to be real, there's nothing about this NYC stuff. It's just, a, to me, it's a waste of time. A waste of time? Yeah. It's Serving your country? It's a waste of time. It's a bullshit. Mm. <laughs> she said it's a bullshit. <laughs> Wow. So can you share the most memorable moments during the orientation camp? Um, like one of your most memorable moments during the orientation camp? Um, there's this woman that came to address us on the pirate ground one morning like that. Like she gave us a very deep speech and I was motivated that oh if a woman can be in this kind of position. Why oh, so that, what, what kind of position? Yeah, she's she's this, she's our stage coordinator. Okay, state coordinator. Yeah. So you look up to being like her one day? No, but like I love seeing women leading. Okay, that women supporting women. Yeah, that kind of thing. I love when I see women in like, top positions, like yeah. commanding men, doing what men cannot do. Like, you no, know, to be very honest, I, I didn't say that men, men cannot be in that position. Coordinator, but for her to be, she, she takes her job very serious, like she's very <laughs> lovable. So, you mean uh, she's one of your most memorable moments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all that things to meet and getting to meet new people. Okay, so how did you adjust to living in a new environment away from your family and friends? <laughs> it's a very, very, very I don't know. I don't know what I should use to qualify that course. Like I've been, I've been here for the past year, and I didn't bother. I didn't even go home. So once like, in a while, I didn't, I didn't go home at all. At all, like seriously. Yeah, yeah. I tried to. I like, once in a while, me wherever I meet myself, I try to adjust. Like adjust myself to that environment. So you mean throughout the whole program, you didn't for once like, okay, let me visit home, let me see how things are going on at home? Even during December period, I was here or true. Okay, you served true. Okay, okay. A real, a real, a real cop member. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> very, very rare to see. So what were some of the challenges you faced during the service year? Mm, let me say, let me start from this. Like a few days before registering for NYC, my phone got stolen. So, so uh, it was very hard for me to cope with. Like I came, I, I went to the camp with my mom's small phone, which is ideal. Like the phone is not functioning well. Well, why others are being like they are pressing their phones, doing a lot of things taking on their pictures. phone, taking pictures. Like my, I'm limited. I'm limited to calls alone now. The phone is just like two gig phone. Like you can't do anything on that phone. And um, why others are having network on their phones? Me, I can't so, even to join the platoon group. We have to scan, to scan one 
code before you can join the ball. That phone cannot scan. You mean that was the major problem? Yeah, case. like I, I enjoyed Ogo State Camp. Ogo State Camp is a very nice. So place. during the service here, like during serving at your PPE, you uh, actually faced any situation? Uh, no, 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 no. Like they are very very quick they are they are they are very very nice people like they are saying to us very well i mean other court members too like my pp is, is a very place a like place a lovely be. place to be okay. actually wow so how did you balance your primary assignment and your community development project we didn't really do a community project like that we did not like just in the normal CBS, you go to school, enlighten the students. And there's this time that we have to cut grass, this round that we have to okay. cut it okay. like the grass. Cut like, members themselves. Yeah, we have to do that. Okay. So, were you, were you opportune to, like, maybe in any time speak to a certain group of people during the CBS program? Like, you mean adults or students? Any, any, any of them. Yeah, there's this time I was chosen as a speaker. In one school day, so I was opportune to talk to them and to enlighten topics? them um, on how to prevent diseases okay. and infection. Okay, well, so can you share a success story from your like one of that project? Like, you was there any result from that? Um, like during time you're given the opportunity to like speak to those students, was there any change or? Yeah, I don't know because I've not been there after the whole. So you didn't thing. even monitor. Yeah, like the, the yeah. But I'm sure they grabs the whole thing. Like as I was saying it, I can like I can feel they are trying to get what I'm trying to say. Like for ladies on how to like girls girl shout on how to take care of yourself while you're on your period, that kind of thing. I can see that they are getting what I'm saying. Okay. So how did you handle difficult situations or conflict with colleagues and the locals? I'm going to say this, like, just because of my PPA, I've met with a lot of good people and the crazy people, crazy customers that you'll be like, ah, oh God, are these people humans too? Because they will frustrate you. They don't even know what you're going through yourself. Maybe you've not been paid your allowance or kind of stuff like that. But they will come and just talk to you anyhow because you're putting on to me, my, my PPA, we put on PPA uniform. Okay. So they'll be like, mm, this person is nobody, it's nothing to write them about. Probably because they see that probably I'm a compro dropout. Okay, they feel like I'm just here to make money. So they'll, um, due to my stature, no one will just, no one will think that I'm a core member. So they'll just be like, talk to you anyhow. And they will feel like they will talk to you anyhow. There's this thing that the last time I left my, please, oh, my primary assignment. Now, this thing that happened between me and one man, like, the man had to call me an idiot. Like, I was like, guy, you don't even know me to talk to me like this. And there are a lot of challenges. So how did you handle the situation at IOT? Yeah, um, I am sorry to say this. I left my home trainer at home that day. Like, I had to, <laughs> as it was giving me back to back, I had to return it, like, Bro, you don't talk to people like that. I have to tell him that, sir. You don't talk to people like that. At some point, I have to remove the sir. I have to address him. That you is. don't talk to people like that. You are not elderly person. Use you, your you, age. You use the slogan of uh, no grief for anybody. Yeah, no grief for anybody. Don't let anybody okay. treat you badly. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> so, what skills or knowledge did you acquire during your service here? Not I need acquiring a skill. Even from your PPA? No. Nah. I can't I can't refer that as a skills because business like in a business business wise. Okay, I try, okay uh, wait, is it a business setup? Yeah, business okay. setup. Yeah, I get to know how to run business, run business through how to interact with other people, get to know customers, get to know them and tactics on how to build your business. Okay. I get to know that. So at least you learn one or two things. Yeah, Good to know. Yeah, yeah. So um, how did you stay engaged with your community and build relationships? Um, I can't say this. Uh, I'm a loner. Yeah. Most, I don't talk to people. I, I, don't, I don't talk to people. So you made no friends? I know. Even among core members, 
we just I can't refer to me to them as my friends, just a colleague, a fellow co members because okay. I don't like this thing relating with people that will end up even my way I'm staying, I stay with students. I'm the only copa there. I'm not sure they know my name. They only no. refer to me as copa. And I don't like relating with people. Except for people that get to know me. And, like it depends on how you relate to people. And and you get to relate with them too. Like I see I have some people that they relate with me well and talk to me, play with them, I relate with them. Oh wow. So nice to hear. So what were some of the cultural shock or differences you experienced? Mass career <laughs> festival in time. Especially that that uh, December period. Every damn time we do see mask read, reading. Even though this there's this particular mask yeah, this person wearing masquerade stops that do come to our store. I'll beg him for money. <laughs> No. Are we? <laughs> you are shocked. You never say you're begging <laughs> for money. You're begging for money. And the man is looking on back calls, smelling. Ah, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to go to this. So that was actually a cultural shock. Hey, masquerade reading uh, all the time. So, okay. She says masquerade <laughs> for money. So, how did you handle homesickness and loneliness? Repeat God, I've always been an LD baby right from small. <laughs> I don't fall sick anyhow. The only time I know that I do have to get drug is during, because of my period cramps. Yeah, okay. so I just get drug for them. Ah. I'm always LD. Okay, so can you share a funny or embarrassing moment during your service here? <laughs> do I really have one? Mm. I'm not sure I have one. Yeah, yeah. That that time that I got to come and our plateau inspector asked us to scan our this scanning stuff to join the platinum group. And I, I had to beg this man that said, my phone cannot scan. And he showed me, he said, mm, if you cannot scan it, leave my front right now. That kind of thing. It was so embarrassing. I called in front of other core members. I was like. Hey, this person has stole my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go for that. <laughs> you don't go for the person. But it came to meeting that it wasn't intentional. It later begged me that doing that it wasn't intentional because like, the pressure it was getting from other people, oh, other okay. members. Doesn't. Okay. So, um, how did you stay motivated and focused throughout the year? Ah, the Lord, the Lord has been my strength. <laughs> <laughs> so, what advice would you give upcoming youth service members? My advice for other and uh, for upcoming youth service members is just for them to just stay to yourself. Don't try to get so attached with your friend or anyone that you have to do something. Then they will be like, "Do you have to do this thing?" Then you have to be like. Trying to explain what you don't give a fuck about anything. Just try to like be yourself. Be yourself. You don't have to if you do this thing, you don't have to explain or beg anybody for doing the doing the stuff or doing anything. So like the person should like be actual so uh, like be yourself. Don't pretend. Don't don't you don't have to force people to like you. Just okay. be yourself. Okay. Let them eat you for where you are. But you know that you're doing what you right want to do. Okay. So, how has your experience as a youth service club member shaped your life and future plans? Um, though I thought during my service year I'll be able to continue with my skills, like this tolerance stuff. Uh, I thought I'll be able to get to after my closing from my PPO, I'll be able to continue my tolerance stuff. But I was not able to do that because my PPA work eight to eight. Monday to Sunday, Saturday. Okay. So I was not able so you to. Actually, you actually um, had a little like knowledge about tailoring even before. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. So, um, so I make these dresses myself. Wow, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mean if, if, you, if, you, if you want to make dresses, you can bring it on to you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm leaving it. Okay, wow. <laughs> well, can, I can we build it to them. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Good to know. <laughs> so, um, no experience you. You had your yes, uh, youth club member. That yeah. Your life. No, it's, no, I'm not going to lie. Like getting to leave your parent house, um, go to where you don't even have an idea. Of. So, are you saying you do not leave yeah. your parents' house going to school? No, like, like completely for a year. Okay. 
So while in school, you actually go? I don't go home very well. Oh, okay. But complete a year, I didn't go home at all. So it shaped so, your life, it like changed you for the future that yeah, uh, yeah, I can't, can, you can live, I can you live, live without your parents. Yeah, without yeah. even my parents. Yeah. I, I lived a complete adult life without yeah. doing mommy and this <laughs> mommy. Yeah. So you mean it for a whole year you didn't like go home for any stuff? Wow. They did it voluntary that I, I hope you're fine. Okay. Um, are, you, are you coping? I'll, I'll send something to you, that kind okay. of thing. Only the same, but you don't call. For me to just call, mm. then um, money is me, I need this. It's not about money. That, that sometimes you also have to prove to them that uh, yeah, I'm brand new. You, can, you can do it. it. <laughs> wow. So um, it's actually a nice time to have um, Busola in the building. Uh, she really made us proud today. Uh, soon to be ex copa uh she has actually served for a full year and she's about to leave so she has just shared with us her experience as a youth copa in a year so i love you did like share and subscribe to the youtube channel and kudos to busola once again it was an interesting moment thanks a lot thank you